what should surely go down in history as the day the music died. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my media channel and this is a big one. This is a big one and yet it is also not surprising at all, but the iPod Touch, basically the last standalone music player from Apple, has been discontinued. It's been quietly discontinued and it will only be available while supplies last. We're going to talk a little bit about this announcement as well as what the iPod actually meant to me. But before we do, please, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the After Earner Media channel. We hit 500 subscribers! Yay! Thank you, everyone! We will be doing a little celebration video or something like that, and we would love to hit 1,000 as we talk about, you know, streaming, physical media, and, well, the ways we consume our entertainment. And one of those ways that we consume our entertainment is, in fact, going away. The iPod Touch, you know, for those of you who don't know what an iPod Touch is, and there's actually a decent chance, some of you might not know, considering um, how little I saw this product really being used by people. The iPod Touch was basically an iPod or an iPhone for younger kids that didn't have cell phone service. It was just a device to play music. Now, I think the Touches um, did include, like, you know, watching videos and reading ebooks and things like that. It did all that, but it was not something that you use as a phone. The apps were much more limited, and it was primarily an entertainment listening device. It was, well, it was an evolution of this. This was the original iPod with its classic wheel where you would just listen to music. This was what was introduced on October 23rd, 2001. And then you could see that they, you know, made smaller designs. They started making them in colors. And then they made the multi-touch interface that was brought to the iPhone and the iPod. And, well, they even introduced a thin edition. And these little shuffle things. Now, now these things, you, you guys might actually laugh. What was the point of the shuffles? Well, this was basically you put your music on the iPod shuffle and you would press play and just some random song would show up. And if you didn't like it, you press the next button. That's basically all it was. And what's the last one? And this is ultimately where we are today. Um, well, actually, I think, yeah, I think the seventh generation is the most recent generation. As you can see, it looks like an iPhone. It's just not an iPhone. So here's what Apple said. Quote, since its introduction over 20 years ago, iPod has captivated users all over the world who love the ability to take their music with them on the go. Today, the experience of taking one's music library out into the world has been integrated across Apple's product line from iPhone and Apple Watch to iPad and Mac, along with access to more than 90 million songs and over 300,000 playlists available via Apple Music. Quote, music has always been part of our core at Apple and bringing it to hundreds of millions of users in the way iPod did impacted more than just the music industry. It also redefined how music is discovered, listened to, and shared, said Greg Joswiak, Apple Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing. Today, the spirit of iPod lives on. We've integrated an incredible music experience across all of our products from the iPhones to the Apple Watch to HomePod Mini and across Mac, iPad, and Apple TV. And Apple Music delivers industry-leading sound quality with support for spatial audio. There's no better way to enjoy, discover, and experience music. Among the incredible ways to enjoy music across the range of devices include a wide variety of models from the new iPhone SE to the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max. iPhone is the best device for streaming Apple Music or storing an entire music library on the go. Apple Watch and AirPods are perfect companions, allowing users to access over 90 million songs right from their wrist, starting at just $279 with Apple Watch SE. Just a side note, people, don't listen to music on your watch. It, I know that they're making it sound great. Unless you've got headphones synced to that watch, it's not. Continuing. Um, iPad starts at just 329 comes with a more powerful chip, larger display, and the latest iPad OS features. Yeah, but it doesn't fit into your pocket. That's the problem with that. And for the best way to enjoy music at home, HomePod Mini is just $99. Customers can purchase iPod Touch through Apple.com, Apple Store locations, and Apple authorized resellers while supplies last. Yeah, you know what's going to happen to all those 
remaining inventory, they're going to wind up on eBay. These are going to wind up on eBay and people are going to pay outrageous prices for them. So here's the thing. I totally get where they're coming from. And I truthfully kind of expected this. I mean, ever since they basically retired the iTunes name and now it's just Apple Music, I, I sensed this was coming. Even though Apple still says individual MP3s, and th they probably will for a long time, to be honest, I can sense that they want to push people over to the subscription model. You know, give us $10 a month for all the music you want. And that's basically how they've been going this whole time, and getting rid of this thing was one of the ways to do that. Now, I do think that these did allow you to listen to subscription music. I think it did at least that much, but you had to pay extra for it. And, and again, it, it might be just a little redundant because if you're gonna start like putting in cell phone service in an iPod touch, uh, you might as well have an, uh, an iPhone, you know what I'm saying? So I think this is just one way to thin the production line a little bit, get more iPhones out there and push people more towards the subscription streaming. That said, I'm definitely going to miss it. I do believe that there is a place for standalone music players. You know, sometimes I like to listen to music without the music being interrupted by a text message or a eBay notification. I like the different colors. Um, I like the wheel. I mean, and when, it, of course, you go to the dentist, places like that, you know, you can put your headphones on and while they're drilling in you and you're hoping that they don't make a mistake, you can listen to music on your iPod. And my dentist, loves the fact that I come in with my rockin' iPod Classic to listen to music. Like, it brings him back. And it's hard to believe it's been 20 years. And the funny thing is, it was basically 18 or 17 years ago that I got my first iPod. I remember I asked for an iPod for my birthday, and we did like a birthday dinner um, at the Olive Garden with me and a couple friends. And my parents, of course, and I think it, I think we did a special because it was, we knew it was like the last time I would be there. I was going to be moving in a few months and, you know, life was just going to be a little different going forward. And uh, sure enough, it was. And as kind of a going away present, my parents got me an iPod and it has my name engraved on it. And because I take care of my stuff, that iPod is still working. It's still working, and it has a lot of space on it. And I guess this is one th another thing about iPod Touch why I'm not terribly surprised it's going away because it wasn't really serving the audience that was using it anymore. Like, like I think at one point I was hoping for like a one terabyte MP3 player where you could just put all the music you'd ever want on there. And not only did they cap out at 160, which is what my iPod is at. But they've actually lowered it since then. I think the most you can get on these things is 132 gigs, if I'm not mistaken. So they actually went down in space in capacity in the last few years. And, you know, it just, it, 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 it wasn't as good for people who just wanted pure music. And then on top of that, because they have this, you know, interface, that's taking up some of the space. And they took away the headphone jack, so you can't just use any pair of headphones now. you got to get, like, a Beats or something like that. So uh, there were reasons to basically not pay too much attention to the iPod Touch anymore. But, again, look, look, look at this again real quick. Like, it's amazing. We went from there, and all of these iterations of just absolutely amazing the history of the iPod. And it's kind of weird to think that iPod, as a standalone device probably won't be a thing anymore. I would be very surprised if Apple ever did this again. Now, I don't. that doesn't mean that other people won't stop making MP3 players, but kind of in the same way how like you can't get a compact disc portable player from when any of the major brands anymore, like Sony and Panasonic don't make these anymore, like they're all third-party developers. Going forward, chances are MP3 players will only be made by third-party uh, companies, and I've got mixed feelings about that. I, I really do. I I would like one of the big companies to still make them and make a really high quality premium product, but I, I don't know. Um, I think it's just one of those things. It's time has come. And you know, since the music's digital, I can definitely understand where they're coming from. I'm streaming more often now. And even though I still buy CDs, it's only once in a blue moon that I buy a CD and the iPod basically only gets taken out for like dentist appointments and 
places where I know the cell phone reception is going to be bad. And most of the streaming services have come up with ways to download albums and songs so that if you lose your cell phone service, you can still listen to your music. So maybe it was just time. Maybe it was just time. I would like to know, what do you think about this? And where were you when you heard that the iPod Touch was being discontinued. And what are your feelings about iPod going away? Are you going to miss it or, nah, you're not really going to miss it. It's just time for it to go. I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, claim responsibly. Have a good one.